Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for God. We bless His holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be magnified. There is no other God else like our Father, our Father, our Maker, our Redeemer. We bless His holy name. We thank God for God. We bless His holy name in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, another month, another brand new month, another, another, another brand new month, another first Sunday of the month of uh, April with thank God for God for giving us uh, the life to live to see our family we bless the name of the Lord he's worthy to be praised he's worthy to be worshipped he's worthy to be magnified we give him all the glory all the honor the praise and may the Lord bless you all in Jesus name hallelujah this is this is virtual so many Christ ministry Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is our Sunday service. Please, if you are out there, you want to come and join us online. Uh, we, our ID, our um, Zoom ID is there. Just dial the number and come and join us. You are 100% welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So I uh, will welcome the servant of God, Evangelist John, for the opening prayer. May the Lord bless you, ma'am. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. Happy first Sunday, happy new month for all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has made this day again for us to be glad and rejoice in it. It is a privilege for us to get into this month. This is because the Lord wants it, not because you and I want it, but it is just the way God wants it to be. And we want to thank him. We want to exalt his name. We want to lift his name higher for what he has done for us. Amen. I'm going to say a prayer before we carry on. Father God, Almighty, we want to thank you for what you have done. We thank you, Lord, for your power. We thank you, Lord, for what only you can do. We thank you, mighty Redeemer. Faithful God, we bless I honor your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there is no way like man like you. There is no God like you. You are mighty. You are faithful. You are a glorious God. We lift your name higher, Father. We lift your name higher. We exalt your holy name. We worship your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive all the glory, all the adoration, Father. Glorify yourself, Father. Let your kingdom come, O oh Lord, in this our place, in this meeting, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Redeemer, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I'm taking the Bible reading in the, the book of Psalms chapter 100. Psalm chapter 100. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that had made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and his sheep of his pasture. Enter into the gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endured for all generations. Amen. May God bless the reading of his word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to go into worship to exalt the name of the Lord before we continue. Amen. What the Lord has done, I will shout hallelujah. What the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. What the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. I will sing hallelujah. Unto the Lord, oh, what the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. What the Lord has done, eh, I will sing hallelujah. Eh. What the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. I will sing hallelujah. Unto the Lord, forever and ever, we will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord has done, eh, we will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord has done, we will sing hallelujah. Who sing hallelujah unto the Lord? Yes, Lord, who sing hallelujah to you? Who sing hallelujah to you, eh, Jehovah? Eh. We will sing hallelujah to you, Lord. We will sing hallelujah to you, Lord. Ah, because you are the Lord. 
Oh, 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 we'll sing hallelujah to you. We'll sing, we'll sing, we'll sing hallelujah to you. Hey, hey. We'll sing hallelujah to you, Lord. We'll sing hallelujah to you, Lord. Ah, because you are the Lord forever and ever. We'll sing hallelujah to you. Jehovah Jari, we'll sing hallelujah to you. Hey. The Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah to you, Lord. Hallelujah to you. Hey. For you are the Lord. Oh, what the Lord has done. Who oh, shout hallelujah. Hey, what the king has done, eh? Hey, who shout hallelujah, eh? Hey. Oh, what the Lord has done. Who oh, shout hallelujah, Lord? Who oh, shout hallelujah? Oh, mighty God. Oh, we shout hallelujah to you. Ooh. Lord, we shout hallelujah to you, eh? Hey. Redeemer, oh, we shout hallelujah to you, Lord. We shout hallelujah to you. For you are the Lord. All of you. You will serve. All of you will serve. We have no other God. All of you will serve. Jehovah Jari. All of you will serve. We have no other God. All of you will serve. Mighty man in battle. All of you will serve. We have no other God. All of you will serve. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the Sharon of Roses. Daddy, no one is like you, Lord. You alone will serve. You are the rock of ages. You are the king of glory who is compared to you. Only you will serve. Jehovah Shama, only you will serve. We have no other God. Only you will serve. Alpha and Omega, only you will serve. We have no other God. You alone who will serve. You alone who will worship. You alone who will honor, Lord. We have another God. You alone who will praise. Only you who will bind. Only you who will honor. There is no other God. You alone who will call. You alone, oh Lord, we call. You alone who will bind for you. We have no other God. Only you I will praise. Rock of ages. Only you. You, I will pray. There is no other God. Only you, I will pray. Alpha and Omega. Only you, I will pray. I have no other God. Only you, I will pray. You are the rock of ages. You are the Alpha and Omega. That you no know one is like you. You alone, I will pray. You are the King of Glory, shaking our glory. The mighty man in battle. Hey. You alone, who will pray. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Elohim. That he who is compared to you, Lord. Only you will praise. Rock of ages. Only you will praise. We have not a gun. More love, more power, more you in Allah. More love, hallelujah, more power, hallelujah, more you in Allah. More love, hallelujah, more power, oh, 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 more you in our life. We worship you with all our hearts. We will worship you with all our spirit. We will worship you with all our strength. You are a God. You are a God. You are a God. Oh Lord, you are a God. More love. More power, oh, 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 more you in Allah. More love, more love, more power, more power, more you in Allah. More love, more love, more power, oh, yes, Lord, more of you in Allah. More love. More power, we give you praise. More you in our life. We will worship you with our life. 
we will worship you with all our spirit. We will worship you with all our strength. You are I God. You are God. You are God. Oh, you are I God. Oh, heaven, declare. The glory of the risen God. For who can compare with the beauty of the Lord our God? Forever you will be, O oh Lord, the Lamb upon the throne. Lamb of the throne, a glad in birth, money, a glad in birth, money, Lord, worship you alone. Lord, yes, proclaim la vene du rissi, si que caille le roi. Parmi tous les rois du monde, à jamais tu seras, oh, je la noce de trône, la noce de trône, content de ma genoue, content de ma genoue, pour t'adorer toi seul, pour t'adorer toi seul. To worship you alone, to worship you alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Anytime you go down in your knee to worship the Lord, be happy, be happy to burn down, be happy to go down on your knees, to worship him, to worship the king of kings, to worship the lord of lords. He is worthy, he is mighty, he is faithful, he is the great God, he is the mighty God, the Alpha and Omega, the Shekinah glory, the king of glory, the rose of Sharon. Father, we want to worship you. Oh, let's open our mouth and begin to worship the king. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you. We give you all praise, Lord. We give you all adoration, We glorify you, Father. 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 We glorify you
want to bring to us. He did not succeed to get us. Let us begin to thank him because the death cannot praise him. Let us thank him in the name of Jesus Father, Christ. Father God, God Almighty, in the name of the King of Jesus. That we want to thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the protection. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for the bread of life. 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 We thank you for the bread of life.
our father in his infinite love he warned us that we are not raised against flesh and blood but it is against principality and power in the highest places Come as you. Then he advised us that we should use the armor of God. We should therefore cover ourselves with wear the armor of God so that those people will not be able to attack us. We are going now to use the armor of God to cover ourselves from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. and because our father have to caution us he has to tell us things ahead he tell us in the book of Isaiah he said things will surely happen he said the enemy will surely come he said they will surely come he said but it is not by me he said but whosoever will come against you shall fall for your sake he was telling us like that so that when we see things happening we shouldn't throw our Bible and run away, but we should instead bring it, bring us those things we instead bring us closer to him. We are now going to take authority because he says so and he give us authority. He said he has given us power to trample open serpent and scorpion. We are now going to stand open that power to destroy the plan of the enemy wherever they are now, fighting against the word of God, fighting against the children of God, whether they live in the air, whether they live in the sea, whether they live under the earth. We, or hang on the tree. Let the power of God locate them and scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father Amen. God Almighty, in the name Father. of Jesus, Lord, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going now to commit the service to the Holy Spirit and call the kingdom of God the Father. Let your kingdom come in this ministry, let your kingdom come in this church. Let your kingdom come, Lord, in our midst. Let us pray in the name of Jesus oh, Christ. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, we only pray for you, Lord, our Holy Spirit, and we commit our service to you. We commit all the service to you. Pray, Lord, let our Holy Spirit come to you. Let the kingdom of God come to you, Father. Let the kingdom of God come to you, Father. Let the kingdom of God come to you, Father. Let the kingdom of God come to you, Father. Let the kingdom of God come to you, Kingdom, 
Hallelujah. We are going now to pray for any activity that will happen here. The praise and worship, the Bible reading, the testimony. Let us commit it all to God and ask God to show himself strong for any of the activities in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, God, all my service, Father, everything that's been done this service today, Father, from the beginning to the end, we commit everything unto your hands. Thank you, Father. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, let him say everything that will go to the Lord and will be in the name of Jesus. God to take control, to have his way over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, Jehovah King of Glory, we want to thank you for another day. We thank you for another hour that you give us opportunity to meet. We thank you for giving us another chance to praise your name today. We thank you for the message, Lord, that you make us to hear today. We thank you, oh Lord, for the thing you want us to see, to hear today, Father. We thank you for the impact, for the power of that message in our life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we commit everybody to you. Father, as you gather us, we bring ourselves again, we give ourselves back to you. And we pray, Lord God, that may you glorify your Safe in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the message that you put in the mouth of your servants, let it please you and glorify you and, and glorify your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that very message destroy the camp of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray that our message, Lord, will not condemn us, but it will rather edify us and take us further for one level to another, to, to another for the prosperity of our soul in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll cover ourselves with the blood. Lord of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, man. We thank God for the opening prayer. May the Lord bless you. More grace, more anointing from above unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. It is time right now. We have to we have to give a word, Father God, that created you and I for that is a praise and worship for us to worship our Father, mighty God. As the word of the Lord says that, that Father God, that is seeking the time is coming, is seeking for the one, you and I, that is the chosen one, to worship in the spirit and in the truth. So may the Lord give all of us the grace right now to worship our Father. Let us worship our Father together. We bless his soul in his word. So I'm going to call out upon our um, our choir in the Cameroon, our youth choir, for them to come and lead up by the help of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you, my sisters, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a moment in the voice to sing praise. Amen.
America. There is no one like you, God, and I'm keeping God. God, and I'm keeping God. God, and I'm keeping God. There is no one like you.
We thank you for another brand new month. We thank you for each and every one of us, Almighty God. We thank you for the body of Christ, Almighty God. We say thank you. We take all the glory, take all the praise of God. We bless your only way, so to only Father God, you are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord increase you all more and more with his fresh anointing and his power to continue doing his way for his own glory in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So well, we thank God for God. We thank God for them. Praise and worship. We give you all the glory, all the honor to our Father, Almighty God. So right now we are seeing the moon of worshiping our Father, Almighty God. Please uh, still join us in G for the hymn. I'm going to uh, call upon our our choir. Hallelujah, in Cameroon for the for the hymn. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The title of our hymn is Count Your Blessings. When upon life below you are tempested, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name the world. Surprise you, wonder, Lord, Lord. Praise Master Jesus, the eternal. Please just hear with us a little bit. They will come back by the grace of God. That is the internet. So as the hymn is telling you and I, we should count our blessings. And oh, we cannot count our blessings because our blessings are not countable. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy for blessing us so much. For oh, blessing us so much, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless God for God. Count your blessing and name them one by more and one by one. And you and I will be surprised at what the Lord has done for us, the wonders that He has been doing for us, the blessings that He has been pouring upon you and I and our family. We thank God. We can thank God. He's worthy. He's worthy, worthy, worthy. Our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the grace to count our blessings every day in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. No, many, many thanks. The enemy, we just try to make you and I to focus on our, pro on our program. I know now you won't remember the blessings of the Lord, but we have to count our blessing. He's still God Almighty. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We wait a little bit for them. Let them come back by the grace of God. It's just the internet. Disturb me a little bit. <laughs> we bless God for God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God on oh, highest. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh my God is worthy. Our oh God is worthy. Our oh God is mighty. Praise Master Jesus. Okay, as we are waiting, I don't know the time we know. So I will take uh, the hymn. I'm sing. Um, I want to sing a hymn. So the title of the hymn: Glorify Thy Name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Just <clears throat> hallelujah. If you have your hymn book, hymn book, just open to the, the, the to the hymn, glorify thy name. I read, uh, I sing in Jesus' name. Glorify thy name. In glorify thy name. Glorify thy name, glorify thy name in all the we love we worship on the 
Glorify thy name, O dear. Glorify thy name. Glorify thy name. Glorify thy name in all the earth. Jesus, we love you. We worship and adore you. Glorify thy name in all the earth. Glorify thy name, glorify thy name, glorify thy name in all the earth. Spirit, we love you, we worship and adore you. Glorify the name in all the air. <coughs> Glorify the name. Glorify the name. Glorify the name in all the Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. <clears throat> we bless the Lord Almighty God. We glorify his blessed name in Jesus. And so right now, <clears throat> it's time for our Bible reading. And now we call upon our brother, our future pastor, by the grace of God, to come and read the word of the Lord by the help of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Brother, may the Lord bless you, my brother. Amen. I'll read Psalms chapter 73. Verse 18 to 28. Surely thou didst set them slippery places, thou castest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation, as in the moment they are utterly consumed with terrors? As a dream when one waketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise thy image. Thus my heart was gr grieved, and I was pickled in my veins. So foolish was I, and ignorant, and I was a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. Afterward, receive me to glory. Whom, I have, whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they are for far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all of them that go a holding from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for the Bible reading. May the Lord bless you now, our brother. We thank God in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord says, Who have I in heaven but thee? But then, who we have in heaven is our lovely Jesus. Is our sweet Jesus we have in heaven. Is our strength. Is our portion. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, servant of God, for this Bible reading. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank God for God. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. So right now, it's testimony time. Please, testimony time. We have. I know all of us, we got... I don't know how many testimonies. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are like the first, the, for me, I knew all of us because we are alive, we have a testimony. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for God. Testimony time. Blessing time. Hallelujah. We thank Jesus for his goodness and mercy upon our life. Hallelujah. The Bible says is Jehovah Rapha, the healer of all sickness and diseases. So I thank God for the few for the past few days. My enemy was not feeling well, but I thank God for the healing. 
I thank God for also the deliverance. He was giving me the strength that in a way that I was doing my, everything that I was doing and nobody even noticed that I was not feeling well because each time before I come in his presence, I always ask him to give me his strength and the Holy Spirit was really doing his work and not to focus on what my body was doing, but I was focusing on what God wanted me to do. So I thank God for the strength that was given to me and also the healing. And I know the word of God said that God will perfect what he has started in my life and to make it perfect according to his will. I thank God for the, the gift of life and I thank God for divine protection and I thank God for his mercy is not because I deserve it, it's by his mercy, it's by his grace that I'm not believing, that I'm not in the hospital, in the hospital bed, but I'm here to worship him. I thank God. So this is my testimony. God bless you. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you. We thank God for the testimony. We thank God for your testimony. We bless the name of the Lord for strengthening you. We thank God. He is our strength. The, the joy of the Lord is our strength. May the Lord bless you, ma. More strength from above unto you in Jesus. In divine healing from above unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Testimony time. Blessing time. So if no testimony, I will testify the goodness of God in my life. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. My testimony, I want to testify for his goodness, for <clears throat> taking me to travel, for joining mercy, and he brought me back home safely. Everything was so, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, Father, just make everything work together for good. For them that love God, that call according to the purpose of God, I just thank God for the journey mercy. I just thank God for his goodness, for his mercy for me and my family. We've seen our, we've seen our, uh, our newborn baby, you know, the, being, uh, for new, uh, being a family. What a joy, what a joy. I really thank God for, for my daughter to save uh, delivery. I bless the almighty God and his word. Bless the name of the Lord. That is my testimony that he gave us a good, me and my family, my husband, my children, my family. We, God bless us with good health. I thank God for God in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God. I thank God for each and every one of us in this ministry. I testify because God is doing wonders in our life, in our midst in this ministry. Almighty God is doing wonders. So we are well. We are sound. Our family, we are well. We thank God. Hallelujah. This is my testimony. He's so good good. Almighty God is good. I give him all the glory of the honor and the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, so this is my testimony. Testimony time. Blessing time. We thank God for God. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for the mercy of God. We thank God. So right now, this is the time we are waiting for. We thank God for the and the testimony. We see the testimonies with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So right now, we are, this is the time we are waiting for. Please let us pray for the servant of God. Hallelujah. For, hallelujah. Let us pray for him, for the message God has given to him to deliver to us, for God to empower him, anoint him, anoint his voice and his lips to deliver the word of the Lord boldly with boldness of the almighty God. Amen. Let us pray for him in Jesus name. Oh, heavenly father, the king of glory, Asians of the father, we thank you for this precious moment. This is the time we are waiting for Lord to eat your word, almighty God. You said man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth, father. As we want to hear your word that come from your throne room that you have given your son to deliver to us, Almighty God. And I choose the mighty Almighty God to deliver your word in the name of Jesus Christ to us. And Almighty God, empower him, O Lord, to deliver your word, Almighty God. Father, as your word is coming forth, O Lord, and I let this your word so in so deep in our heart, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, bring transformation in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. All the hearers, O Lord, let this word that coming forth, Almighty God, bring transformation in our lives, change us, O Lord, transform us, O Lord, for your glory in Jesus and I send your angels, O oh Lord, to guide him, to protect him, O oh Lord. Don't let him forget anything that you want us to hear, Father. Give him the grace to remember all. Almighty God, you say madly and as never before in the name of Jesus, my Father. And I will thank you for his life and his family. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus on him and his family. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Amen. Mm. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are going to welcome the servant of God for today's message, today's service. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. We welcome you, sir. May the Lord bless you, sir. Pastor Amen. James. Amen. We thank God so much. Thank you so much for this evening. It is a wonderful evening that we are going to have the Holy Communion service today by the grace of God. We thank God so much for the testimonies and also for the prayer and also for the, 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 the praise and worship from Cameroon in the name of Jesus Christ. And before I start, I want to sing uh, the song, A Hymn That I Love. <laughs> the same, A Hymn That I Dearly Love. It is, it is connected to, to, to the, message, or the, 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 the service we are going to have today, the, the, Holy, the, Holy, the Holy Communion in the name of Jesus. Uh, that is at the cross, at the cross. Alas, indeed, my Savior bled. And did my sovereign die? Would he devote the sacred head for sinners such as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Was it for crime that I have done? He grown upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love be your degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart lulled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. I am happy, no, oh, I'm happy, I'm happy all the day. Well, my teething son in darkness hide. And shot his glory in when Christ the mighty maker died for man the creature sin on the cross on the cross where I found so the light. And the burden of my heart lulled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Well, mighty son, in darkness I and shut his glory in. When Christ the mighty maker died, for man the creature sing. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart lulled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief. 
First answer is so powerful. Would he, he say, would he devote that sacred head, you know, the sacred head, and for the sinner such as I, that is what the, the song says, for the sinner such as I, he devoted his sacred head, you know, for a sinner such as I. So it's at the cross where we first saw the light, all of us. So tonight we thank God so much because we are going to have our 50 minutes. Um, already five is done. So we are going to have our 50 minutes so that we can have a Holy Communion today. It's always a happy Sunday whenever we commemorate uh, the, uh, the death of Jesus. You know, people are going for, for Easter. You know, they say next week or the Easter, they say that's the, you know, that is not the meaning. Today they, it was having, they were having Palm Sunday. No, it is not that. You know, bearing the cross is not that. It was not that. So the, all these are idols people are putting in their houses, their palms, the crosses, the crucifix, they're idols. The message of the cross is deeper than that. It's not that. That is a deception of Catholic and many other. So the cross life is different. So anyway, today uh, I want to, to, to read the book of Luke, chapter 12. Uh, uh, the, the book of Luke, chapter 12. That's where we want to, 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 to lead a few verses so that we are before we come to uh, the Holy Communion service. Um, so the book, uh, the Luke chapter 12, I'm, I'm going to read uh, from verse, uh, I'm going to read verse 35, Luke chapter 35. Uh, 35. Uh, and I want to mention uh, something very critical, you know, waiting for the Lord, you know, waiting patiently for the Lord. Uh, that, that, that's a, a short topic we are going to, to learn, the anxiousness waiting. Because last time when we were here, uh, uh, we read the book of uh, Matthew, when we were talking about um, the events of the rapture, you know. Uh, the events, the, the the events that are are, before, are coming to uh, to befall the church, the events that are ahead, the calendar of the church, the prophetic calendar. In fact, I had a very very deep desire to 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 continue with that, but uh, due to time constraints, then I have to limit myself with the message that will fit the fifty minutes that we are uh, we are always allocated whenever we are preaching in this program. <laughs> But uh, uh, in future, we are going to touch on those uh, critical prophetic events that are going to befall the church. And first of all, the first event that the Lord is preparing the church for is the rapture of the church. The court, the church being caught away, you know, uh, being caught up with him uh, in the rapture, of which the Bible talks very carefully, uh, very clearly. That he'll come as a thief without a notice, without notice, not nobody, no Twitter, no Facebook, a lot, nothing a lot. It is just pop and the Lord takes the church. That means he'll take the church silently, it will not be noticed, it will be noticed later when he has taken the church. 
that is the event of the rapture, which is very critical, of which Paul the Apostle in the book of First Thessalonians said that encourage each other with these words. So these are the words of encouragement to, to real Christians who are hoping for the glory of the Lord and who are all hoping uh, one day to come of this world that is full of cancer, uh, this world that is full of uh, love, uh, you know, need of money, need of housing, need of transport, a lot of needs, a lot of needs, a lot of needs, needs of supplement, you know, many things, uh, many things, you know, many things. But, you know, those who hope for that, that's what Paul said, that encourage each other with this word. That is the event of the rapture. And even after the event of the rapture, there is a very another critical day of which it's good also to highlight and to sensitize Christian with the day of the Lord that comes after the seven years uh, of which the church or the saints were going to partake. And the many prophets spoke about it uh, in the Bible. And also Jesus Christ himself spoke about it uh, in the Bible. Uh, that is an event that is very critical uh, also for the church. But now, because of the constraints of time, because we are not going to touch on that, but we are going also to, to, to touch on uh, what Jesus Christ said uh, of his coming and to continue sensitizing our spirit and also our soul. It is just acting as a reminder. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is just uh, act, uh, acting as a reminder uh, uh, because uh, it is still uh, acting as a reminder because many of Christians no 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 know, know this. So I'm going to read. Uh, let me read. Uh, let, let 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 me read the book. Uh, the book of Luke chapter um, uh, twelve verse thirty five. The Bible says, "Let your loins be uh, guarded about, and your light lights burning, and you yourself like unto men that wait for their Lord." when he will return from the wedding, and when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say, uh, verily I say unto you, that he shall give a uh, guard himself uh, and make uh, them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or in the third watch and fight them so, blessed are those servants. He says, blessed are those servants. You know, the reason I was just reading this scripture, it is very familiar to many people. But I was seeing the blessedness of these servants. Because, for example, what Jesus Christ was saying here was saying the long waiting or anxious waiting to someone who did not give you a date all hour, all month, all year that he is coming. You know, I was putting in the in the in in the in the practical scenario. For example, for example, here in Africa, where I am, sometimes we get notices that a certain guest is coming. Just you know, sometimes people talk like this. Oh no, not like this. Not very careful. They just tell you that. Oh, I'm going to pass by your place. And these are senior people. Love, not, not not just a common friend a very respected friend tells me that, oh, James, I am going to pass by in your house today. And it's a res very respected person. That means that day, I am going to shut all other business that I have. And this person who has just th that made that announcement to me that he's going to pass by in my house has not given me time has not given me any indication. So I'll be always looking at my window. Where is he? If I hear a car, I check on my window. Is he the one? So I, I develop some anxiousness 
And any and anybody who comes in my house, see what is happening. No, I'm waiting for a guest. That was the scenario that Jesus Christ was putting the church in. That you wait for someone who did not give you a date, someone who did not give you an hour, a month, or a year, even a century. You don't know. But you are commanded just to wait patiently and don't move. Don't update other businesses. No wonder the Lord calls them blessed. Because that long wait. In fact, he gives an example. He says that, uh, uh, for example, he gives um, uh, some exam uh, example. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he comes, shall find watching. Very I say unto you, he shall give himself and make them sit uh, to meet, and he will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or the third watch, in fact, so blessed are those servants, because it is a lot of work. In fact, you know, this scripture was read in the first century church, and it's, it's estimated about 2,000 years. In those 2,000 years, those brethren that were there, as we are, can you imagine they were still reading this scripture and they were still waiting for the Lord? That's why Paul, when he was preaching about rapture, they thought that the rapture was going to take place in their time. That's why they were writing it very so zealously. But it's about to happen. In fact, I have had many servants or many uh, evangelists who say, nobody is going to bury me. I am going to see the Lord as he is and I'm going to be raptured alive, and they eventually die. That means they were anxious in waiting, but they pass on. So you see, the first if the first even the first church, can you imagine they were just waiting, and they read this scripture because Jesus, the Bible was uh, was given by that time, and even Paul is getting a revelation even of how rapture will take place, and all of them have died, and they have rested in the Lord just waiting and now this this baton has been passed on 21st century church it is us and you are told the same same thing that don't move just wait he has not given us the day the hour the month just anxiously waiting so that means all the time you are looking like this all the time you are looking like this it's just some, for example, when you go to a street or somebody tells you, I am going to call it, I'm coming to see you. You always, always watch your phone. If you see anything that is entering, you see it's a person. And the way nowadays people are very impatient. If you delay for 15, day, 15 minutes, they'll start telling, no, I'm going to cancel this meeting. You are not coming. I've been waiting for you. I'm going to cancel this meeting because they are. Tired of waiting, but Jesus Christ here is telling us patiently waiting for him. That is a long wait. It's a long, long wait. It's a long, long wait. And also he is commanding, just wait for his coming. Prepare, he is just coming. You don't know the hour. You don't know the date. You don't know the year. And I just, you know, that's, that's why a Christian. To be a Christian who waits for the Lord, it takes the Holy Spirit understanding of the times and season and also the way to wait on the Lord because it requires a lot of patience. It requires a lot of endurance. It requires a lot of anxious. It is, it is sometimes anxiously waiting. It requires you to stand still and wait not moving left in the world. And that's why you know many churches or many believers have grown weary of waiting for him. Let me read further. If you read the book of, um, uh, the book of, um, let me read the book of Mark. Mark, the book of Mark. Also Jesus spoke about it here. Uh, I'm going to see. I have to read the book of Mark, uh, Mark chapter 13. Let me read the, the book of Mark chapter 13. The book of Ma Mark chapter 13. M Mark chapter 13. 
please. Uh, I, I, I want I want to lead I want to lead I want to lead the book of Mark chapter thirteen, Mark chapter thirteen. Uh, Mark Mark chapter thirteen. I am going to read. I am going to read verse. Um, let me read verse. Um, uh, so that uh, verse thirty three, verse thirty two. You can start like uh, verse thirty two. Uh, verse thirty two. Mark, Mark, Mark chapter 13 verse 32 says, but, but of that day, but of that day, uh, but, but of that day, in that hour, knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the son, but the Father, take ye heed, watch and pray. You say first, you know, uh, the amazing thing is verse 32, you say no man knows the day, no man's knows the hour, no man's, no man's uh, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for you know not uh, when, when the time is. For the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority, authority to his servant and to every man his work and commanded the porters to watch. He says, it's a, like a man who's taking far journey, a very far journey. So, so, so that, 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 waiting, that waiting is quite... That waiting is quite tiresome. Because it's a man like taking a far journey. As we said, blessed are those servants who will just be waiting, not moving, not distracted by the weeds of the world. Because the weed of the world is distract, has, distract, has succeeded to distract the church from waiting on the Lord. But here the scripture says, blessed are those servants. You know, I was just digesting these scriptures. And, and, I, and I, as I was digesting these scriptures, I saw this is a blessed church. The first generation, Paul and Peter, they were waiting. They were urging the church to wait. They waited. They died. This baton has been passed to the first, 21st generation of the church has been commanded to wait. He has given no specific day, no specific month, no century, but you are told to wait. It requires a lot of patience. Many people are becoming impatient. And one sign of the impatience of the church is the church turning away from the cross, the way of the cross, one sign the church becoming impatient is going into the world and behaving like the world and praising the world and joining the world and bring the world to the pulpit. That shows that people have lost patience for the coming of the Lord. And especially for him, just waiting for him. You know, he, elsewhere he says, like a bride. He says, like a bride that waits for the, for the, for the, uh, for the bridegroom. And you know, the Bible says we are, we were, we were engaged, not married. We were engaged, not married. And you see, traditionally, for example, in Africa here. When a woman or a girl is engaged, and for example, is, is engaged by a poor man, even if that girl see a, a rich man, she restrains herself because I know I am engaged. I am engaged. In fact, many engaged women behave like married women. Because they, 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 they consider I have already gotten a partner. 
I'm just waiting for the day of the wedding. In fact, most of the time you are going to see them in the company of married women. So they are, they are no longer being sought by men because they have found one. But if you see the church, for example, she is engaged, but yet she is not satisfied by the one who has engaged them. They are looking for another. And you know, I have, because I am a pastor, I have seen many young women in the church when they are engaged. They are almost 100% preoccupied by the person who have engaged them. In fact, one who did a wedding last December in the church here called Irene, uh, you know, she, was, she used to preach in the church or rather to do a lot of men. In fact, I stopped her to preach. I stopped her, I stopped her to do a morning devotion. Why? Because all the time she's preoccupied, almost when she's preaching, she, she's preaching her husband or her husband to be unknowingly because of the preoccupation. Whenever she calls me, she's asking, oh, play for my, for my husband to be, oh, how do you see? So she's, she's drunk because of the person who have engaged her. So the church, we were, were, were engaged. And it's now the unengaged woman waiting for the bridegroom and the day of the wedding. That is a long waiting. No specific day, no specific year, no specific century. Can you imagine Christian, 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 Christian? We need the Holy Spirit, Christian, because you know, that is a long, 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 long waiting. Can you imagine, for example, I am going to give an example as I'm, I'll, I'll be finishing. Can you imagine the Lord tarries for another 10 years and you are alive or 20 years? 20 years from now. And weeds of the doctrines are not stopping. In fact, they are increasing. Sin is not stopping, it's increasing. The pressure of the world is not stopping. It is increasing, even multiplying. And yet we are waiting. How much do we need the Holy Spirit? If I, oh, if, you know the people, some people say, oh, if the Lord doesn't come, no oh Lord, come, come. They saw them so much evil. And they say, no, people continue waiting. How many will remain after 20 years in the virtuous women? You know, the ministry was just launched, launched, I think 20, I don't know, Marie will collect me, 2015, I don't know. And the, and the word was so fiery, but you see how many remained. And we are not even 20, 10 years. If the, if the founder evangelist, the late evangelist clear could even be remain, has it have remained until now? How many could have also endured until this time, but they are, they are still holding dear to the message of warning to, to women, warning from God to all women? How many? So, so you see, the long waiting. You know, sometimes when I was en entering the, the salvation, I said, oh, Jesus, it must come this year, the zeal. According to how I am feeling, the Lord must come this year. But you see, a knee has gone. Another has come. Another has gone. Another has come. And not moving. Still focused. We need the Lord. We need the Holy Spirit, in fact, to have such a wrong patience. So he says here, okay, so that's why he says, it's like a farm want for fortune. If we read the book of, let us read the book of Hebrews. Uh, <coughs> the book of Hebrews, um, Hebrews chapter 9, <coughs> uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 9, 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 I'm going to read, I'm going to read, um, Verse 20, uh, verse 27 then. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 9. Hallelujah. 
uh, the book, uh, the book of Hebrews chapter nine, the book of Hebrews chapter nine, uh, verse, I'm going to read verse, verse 27. The Bible says, as it is appointed unto men once to die. Hebrews chapter 27, chapter nine, verse 27. As it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this judgment. So Christ was once suffered, once, uh, was once suffered to bear sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall appear the second time without, uh, 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 without sin and salvation. The key word there that I was looking, look unto him. Other transition says, wait, patiently wait. I'm an anxious to wait for him. You know that eventually tells us that eventually the Lord, those people the Lord will meet and especially take them to heaven are those people who literally, patiently waited for him. And sometimes you enter into the salvation or even to ministry, you think it's just a year thing. And it prolongs, prolongs testing patience. And especially the, the patience of waiting. Nothing happening. And that's why also he said in the book of Matthew, as it was in the days of Noah. You know that Noah preached 120 years. 120 is not a, a short time. Preaching one thing. In fact, when he starts preaching, he thought even the, the, the flood is going to come next week because of how he the, the message was. Repent. This generation is going to be finished by the flood. Repent, this generation is going to be finished by the flood. And you can imagine he waited for 120 years, just patiently waiting. I, I think many, many, sometimes many, many, many believed. Many believed. Uh, many believed. Later, they retracted their belief because of long waiting. And that's why, for example, if you want to test the ministry, the, 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 the serious people of ministry, just give them time, the patience of time. How many people are going to endure? That's also the waiting of the Lord. And that's why the Bible says, those who patiently wait, and those who waited for the Lord, uh, those, those who waited for the Lord for, uh, for, for, uh, for, 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 for a long time. And you see, Noah, waited for the Lord. He had that endurance and endured, endured, endured preaching, preaching. And you know, the Bible says he finished, he finished the ark long time ago. In fact, he did the ark very quickly, according to the instruction that he was given. All the other years were just waiting, but the Lord told him seven days from now, is going to lay. So that means many people had even died. Many people had even were even born who are not even familiar with the original message of Noah. Met Noah, continuing preaching, continuing preaching. It's just like the the baton of the gospel, how it was passed from from generation to generation, and the generations keep waiting. That's why Jesus said, "Blessed are those servants that when surely I come, even those who died in Christ." that they died waiting. Remember the book of Hebrews? I think, I think it's the, the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Hallelujah. Uh, the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, the book of, uh, uh, the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, that's why uh, the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11 uh, says, I uh, was talking about the faith, those people who had faith, and how they waited, they waited for the promise, they waited for the promise, and uh, they waited for the promise, and they, in fact, they passed many very horrible things, just waiting. That's the kind of patience the Lord is asking us to have. But he is still coming, but patience will pay. And that anxious waiting, not being moved from left and right. 
because it's like a man who has taken a far journey, a far journey. And he commanded the watchers to watch and wait. You know, sometimes the Lord can allow the ministry to endure for a long, long time. And eventually you see it's only one man standing. One man standing. A ministry that started with a lot of people. In a serious movement. As I have just given the example of the ministry, for example, of Virtuous Women, how it started uh, some, some years back and how the movement was so serious. And you can see after a long time, how many people have fallen away and many have been toured to other things. Some infighting, some calling them, some we are better than this, some calling this, but just, just a test of patience, a test of patience, a test of patience for this word. The book of James, if you read the book of James chapter five, the book of James, chapter 5. The book of James, chapter 5, verse 7. The book of James, chapter 5, verse 7. The Bible says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. See, just be patient. Just be patient, brethren. Don't be in a hurry. Just be patient. Say, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold the husbandman waiting for the precious fruit of the earth. In has long patient for it. Say, long patient for it. Until he received the array and the latter rain. That means even if you desire, for example, we are farmers here. You know, we farm beans. We, we farm beans. We farm corn. We farm wheat. Even if you are so hungry, until it matures, you cannot, you cannot eat it. You know, farmers have that patience. A long patience. And sometimes we, we plant food that go for a long time. So he was, say, he was just giving us an example as farmers, wheat. And many, many crops that we plant in Africa, they are harvested once in a year. Not three months. It's a wrong patience. That's why you receive first rain, second rain to mature the crop, and just waiting, waking up on also seeing the garden. And sometimes, you know, as you wait, people are hungry because you depend from the farm. People are hungry. So you look on your beans. Oh, they are budding now. You see, two, months, two more months to come. You see, oh, I'm still waiting. The rain comes. I'm still waiting. The children are crying. Oh, give us food. Let us wait for the, for the, mature, for the crop to mature. The, lane, the Lord keep laying. People still wait. He was giving that an example of wrong waiting and yet not moved. So the husband can, man cannot come, cannot wake up in the morning and be, become angry. No, I have waited enough. I am going to stretch this corn. I am going to stretch this bean. It's not giving yes yield. I am going to move on to another crop. No, he stay wait because that was he planted. It's like us, we are planted in the Lord Jesus. We have no option. No alternative. It's just to wait for him. The first watch or the second watch? Wrong waiting. So he say, precious on the earth, has wrong patience are for it until he receives the early lane and the latter lane. Be also patient. Establish your heart for the coming of the Lord is near. So James was just advising Christian. It is a long journey. So if people thought, yeah, and that's why you saw it is so, it's very wrong for Christian to be bold, you know, by programs like this, and also prayer, sometimes also fasting, because it's a long journey. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. It is a long journey we have entered into. That's why the Lord says, blessed are those servants who that when he come, he'll meet them still waiting, patiently, they never moved. That you, 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 you engaged me. I never saw another man. You engaged me. 
I never saw another rich man because, you know, for example, when, when women are engaged by poor men, they saw a rich man, they say, okay, let me choose the, the, the rich man. And I abandon the poor man. But for me, I was faithful. When you engaged me, I stick to with you until the day of marriage. Then say, oh, blessed are those servants, not being moved in any way. But they are very strong and they are very firm and they are very much waiting, not moving. Because when Christian, you give them the test of time. That's why you say, just give them test of time, any, anything. And that's why you knew the fire that we put, we lit up in our hearts. It must be burning from the olive, olive tree, olive, olive. Make sure it is olive. Because olive burns slowly, but long time. But when you lit up strange fires that are, that are burn very quickly and scare the nations, and scare the towns, for example, and scare the churches. You see, the talk of the town is, is an upcoming ministry. It is strange to people. It has created a movement. And that is not olive. That burns slowly for a long time. That burns slowly for a long time. It becomes very, 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 very strange. Because, you know, it burns and the devil put it off. And the rest becomes history. He used to be. We used to pray. We used to fast. We used to preach. But make sure you put olive tree, like the burning fire in your heart, because it burns slowly, 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 a long time. So if you read the book of Second Peter, even as you're progressing, we have we have 10 minutes, we have 10 minutes to finish. Uh, so if you read the book of Second Peter, the, second, the book of Second Peter, chapter 3. Second Peter chapter 3. Second Peter chapter 3. I'm going to read uh, verse 11. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 11. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 11. I'm going to read. Uh, verse 11 says, the Bible says, verse 11, the Bible says, Seeing then all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in holy conversation and godliness? Looking and hastening unto the coming of the day of God. You know, Looking, that's kind of looking he is talking about here, is honestly waiting. And hasting, that is desiring also, anxiously waiting for the day of God. That's what the Bible is saying here. It's telling us here. And the Bible says, and hasting, where in the, 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 the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens, new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's where we are looking unto, waiting. So, in short, tonight, my brethren, I was saying the journey of waiting for the Lord is a long journey. It's a long journey. It is not an easy journey. It, is, it requires the heart to be stretched. It requires deeper understanding. It requires that kind of fire in your heart, the olive fire, the olive oil fire. So that's why also the Lord commanded Alon in the house of God, tell the Alon to get pure oil, to pure olive oil, to put it in the lighting of the house of God. Because it, it used to burn the whole night until morning. All other oils were burning quickly. Like, for example, petrol or any paraffin or any, any petroleum product. It was burning very quickly. But he commanded pure olive. Because when you put olive, it burns a long time. That's the kind of the fire that the Holy Spirit ignites in the hearts of believers, especially in these last days. That you are consistent, consistent in this year. Year 2023, 
that the message that we preached in 2016, that when Marie visited Kenya with Evangelist Marie, uh, with the Evangelist uh, Creolate, that means that message is consistent today. That consistency means that there has been a patient waiting for the Lord, you know, because men change. That's why, for example, if you review some tapes or cassette, you know, or, you, or records of some of the servants who are preaching sometimes back, you'll wonder, are they the same still people who is preaching this? Because when they preached a long time ago, that message was so pure, so holy, rebuking sin. But nowadays, compromise. That means has, there has been no consistency in waiting. People got tired. People got bored by the gospel. They changed. They transformed like the world. And the message was diluted, and the original fire was quenched because of lack of long waiting. But when somebody has a lot of patience, you maintain the originality of the fire of the Holy Spirit. It remains with you. That Jesus remains truth forever. And that even, he is, even if he is holy, that's why, for example, uh, even those people who receive the message of holiness, for example, in the in the um, virtuous women, it was very pure message, very serious message, a message from heaven, you know, especially rebuking women. And you see, slowly, slowly, people start retracting and going back to the Jezebel property. Slowly, light, even I've seen in the church here, I preach. It's upon me now to keep reminding them, God has not changed. The way the cross has not changed, it is still the Lord lagged cross, even if we are 2023. 20, it has not changed. You know, some people also started, you know, saying things, oh, evangelist Korea has died. So the no, priest, the, the word doesn't die. If she preached the message of the cross, the cross remain. It is not, it is not more than at all. And you know, the devil gives a lot of reasoning. People start reasoning and he quenched the fire. But those people who had the olive oil, it's burned slowly that even 2023, they have remained the, the same, same, same vigor, the same, same zeal, the same, same understanding. They have never doubted that this is the Lord that has commanded all women to repent that has commanded all women to throw away the Jezebel properties, that has commanded women to dress holy in the, in the fear of God. And that rem message remains. That's why we need the Holy Spirit, the consistent, especially for the servants of God. Oh God, we pray. We pray because they change. You know the devil, if we want to the catch the church, he start, he start preaching to the pastor to change. Especially those pastors who receive this message. In the first time, he starts preaching to them to change. Oh, doubt it. Oh, Evangelist Marie, they are just stuck. They stuck there. And the person who started this is dead. No, you know, they, they start changing the message. Probably. They give all manner of reasons in the heart. Then step by step, they start retracting, retracting, retracting. And the message is diluted. And Jesus has not even appeared. He has not come. He is still coming. That long waiting is has faints away and go away. Then you see the Holy Spirit is grieved. For this were people who are candidate to heaven and who are to partake the wedding supper of the Lord, the Lamb of God. They have said he has long delayed, and they have stopped beating other servants with all kind of manner of irrigations just to fight them. That's why there is a lot of infight for people who are first patient for coming, the coming of the Lord. Then they start fighting. Other. In fact, instead of encouraging and partaking and continuing the zeal of the holiness to continue to spread the, Lord, the whole world and to support it, then infight. And yet the Lord has not come. And the world still is waiting for the message. So we pray that God helps us to maintain in long waiting 
that we maintain the message, we maintain the cross, and we maintain holiness, and we maintain the same, 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 same understanding, even as the Lord appeared to us and taught us the way of lusciousness. I finish with the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis chapter 6, that we may, we may, we may partake now, the Lord's, the Lord's table. Uh, or rather the Holy Communion tonight that we may prepare to partake it uh, right away uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the book of Genesis uh, chapter, hallelujah, chapter 5. It's about uh, chapter 5. Let me read Genesis chapter 5. I am going to read verse 20. It's about Enoch. It's about Enoch. Verse 20 says, uh, oh no, no, verse 21. Let me read verse 21. Genesis chapter 5, verse 21. And Enoch lived 65 years and begat Melusera. And Enoch walked with God and he begat Melusera. 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked with God. And he was not for God to quit. Can you imagine what I want you to get here in this scripture? Is the amount of time that Enoch walked with God. 300 years. Because God appeared to him when he was at 65. And from that, he walked 300 years. Can you imagine? To this Christian, a salvation of five years, only five years on a calendar. Oh, they have fainted completely. You ask them, do you fast now on this? Oh, I don't remember the last time I fasted. Do you sing hymns? Oh, I don't, I don't remember. Do you attend any fellowship, even if it's online? Oh, I'm too busy. And the first year you used to attend, you hear oh, the fellowship is starting at four. You keep asking, what are, are you starting, you people? Are you starting? Because of how you're anxious. But only five years. If the pastor prolongs preaching, no, no, he's taking a lot of time. He's taking a lot of time. And these are the Christians who used to endure for hours. Listening. But Enoch's, Enoch is 300 years until he was caught up. A kind of endurance and waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. Until he was caught up. That's the kind of the heart that God wants us to be to have. To maintain the soundness of the gospel. To maintain the originality of our gospel, the gospel that Jesus Christ gave us on the cross and the message of holiness. May God bless you. I'm going to reach there for tonight. I think my 15 minutes is consumed. And I truly thank God for today. So I'm going to read, uh, I'm going as we prepare, we are going to start to now prepare for the, the Holy Communion. We are going to prepare for the Holy Communion. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Uh, as we prepare, I am singing one stanza, then we are going to pray. Then uh, each I give each one of us one minute to, to, to examine. I'm going to sort of read the scripture that we may partake the Lord's uh, communion tonight. Allah and my Savior bless, and in my sovereign die. Would he devote the sacred head for sinners such as I? On the cross, Ah, the cross where I found so the light. 
I'm the burden of my heart all the way. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you tonight, O oh God. It is a wonderful night when we remember the death of Jesus Christ. It is a wonderful night when we remember how you were crucified on the cross and how you bled and how, you, how your sacred head, O oh Lord, was offered to sinners like we, O oh Lord. Sinners, feel the people like we are but you are sacrificed for us. So Lord, as we partake the Holy Communion tonight, Lord, as we remember the Holy Communion tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus, that this memory will be in our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you are going to witness our Holy Communion tonight through your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ that it may be registered in heaven, that we have done it in remembrance of you. In Jesus' name, we pray. So we are going to read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. <laughs> 1 Corinthians chapter 11, I'm going to read there so that we can um, um so that we can um, uh, protect the communion tonight the bible says verse 23 for i received of the lord that which i delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus, that the same night in which he was betrayed, took blood, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took, uh, he took the cup, when he had stopped saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do ye as often as you drink it in the remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do chew the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that blood and drink of that cup. So we are going to take a minute, and in that minute we are going to examine ourselves. And as we examine ourselves, if any there is any sin, we need to repent. The blood of Jesus Christ is always flowing to those who believe in it and who believe him. That is going to wash us, that we eat and partake this holy communion worthily before the Lord and for a blessing and for remembrance, not for cursing, not for judgment, for or for anything else, but for blessing in Jesus' name. So let's take a minute of silence and also for examining and also for repentance in Jesus' name.
in Jesus name we examine ourselves and also we repent so my brethren as we are in that mood we are in uh, silence also we are going to do it in unison also as the lord has also commanded to do it in unison the reason we do it in unison is that communion in togetherness in the body of christ that's why the lord tells us not to eat in a hurry we should not eat it in a hurry. we always do it in together means the the body of christ the oneness of the body of christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to read the scripture in the, uh, in the same, same verse, verse 24. Then I pray. Then we are first going to take the blood all together. Our internet is good. We are going to take all together in Jesus' name. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you and I want to give you all the glory. Thank you so much because of the blood that, Lord, we are going to partake in Jesus' name. Lord, as we sanctify and separate it to be suitable for this service tonight, I pray as even as we partake this blood in Jesus' name, that the remembrance of the body that was broken on the cross will be in our heart, especially in these last days that we continue patiently waiting for you, Jesus Christ, the return, your return, because you saved us to prepare us for your return. And you commanded us to wait patiently until you come. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Let us eat all together in oneness. Verse 25, after the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my body, in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we hold the cup tonight that represent the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross. This is the blood that always sanctify and wash us and bring us close to you, O God, even in these last days, Jesus, where the world is taking us very far from you, but the blood of Jesus Christ always bring us closer to you. And we are embraced in your love and in your grace, O God, and we are returned to home. Lord, as we, as we remember the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross, on your feet, on your, on your hands, O oh Lord, when on your head, on your head, when they put that crown of thorns, O oh Lord, the blood flowed. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that they, will, that they will bring that remembrance in our hearts, even in these last days. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Let us partake all together. Allah and my Savior bled and in my sovereign would he devote the sacred head for sinners just on at the cross at the cross where i found so the land and the burden of my heart longed away. It was there by faith 
I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. When it for crown that I have done, he grown upon the tree. Amazing peace. The grace unknown and love be your degree. On the cross, on the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. God bless you, all the brethren. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep us. May the Lord keep this ministry. And patiently as we wait for him. And we maintain the blood, the message of the blood of Jesus Christ and the message of the cross. Even as we have remembered how he suffered for us and even how he expects us to wait patiently for him in these last days. May God bless you. Over to you, our moderator, evangelist, teacher. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, so more grace unto you in Jesus' name. We thank God for the message. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord give each and every one of us the grace to wait patiently unto Father God, watching and praying and waiting unto him. I know Almighty God, as he told us to wait, he will never leave us nor forsake us. He will continue strengthening us through no matter the situation, the circumstances. He's with us and he will still continue to be with us. May the Lord give us the grace to stand firm to the end. That any weary heart, may the Lord take it away from us and strengthen our heart to hold on to the faith, the faith that we believe in Jesus. Jesus is our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. May the Lord bless you, sir. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for God. We thank God for this message in Jesus' name. So right now, we are going for our contribution. Hallelujah. We are going to our, for our contribution tight and pray for the man of God. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us pray for the servant of God. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Asians of the Father, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer. Father, we thank you for your Son, Almighty God, whom you are just a, a blessing to us, Almighty God. Father God, we thank you for using him mightily, Almighty God. Father, continue anointing more, Almighty God, fresh anointing. Father, the virtue that went out of him, Lord, and I replenish unto him in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. And I give him the grace to wait unto you patiently, Almighty God, for your glory in Jesus' name. And I need power in this any personality that wants to attack the spirit of physically, the mighty God, and let your spirit raise your standards against them in Jesus' name, and I strengthen your servant through, O Lord, for your glory, Lord. Bless him in return, Almighty God, Father. We thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise, O Lord. Thank you for using it to be a blessing to God, to be a blessing to the body of Christ. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed amen. amen so our contribution tithe and offering please if you have your tithe and offering bring it out let us pray over it hallelujah to the lamb of god as the word of the lord said bring your tithe and offering to the storehouse of almighty god our father i know that he, he doesn't need our money but when we obey him he bless us with the obedience you know, as he said, as the word of the Lord says to you and I, if I'm your father, where is my honor? So we honor him by we obey his word. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus. As we are preparing our offering and a tithe, I will say, 
Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. Amen. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. Jesus is safe forever. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. Jesus is safe forever. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. Jesus is safe forever. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. Jesus is safe forever. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. Jesus is safe forever. Praise Master Jesus. Let us pray for our offering and tithe. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, Asian today, Father, we thank you for this privilege that you have given to us to bring our tithe and offering to your soul, House of America. We are grateful, we are thankful, Lord. And Almighty God, we ask your Almighty God, Father, Heavenly Father, Almighty God, to bless the free offering and the, on the tithe, oh, Almighty God, bless it for your glory. And that the one that are able to bring Almighty God to the soul, House of Lord, Father, bless them, oh Lord, in return in Jesus. And then the one that doesn't have Father, provide for them, oh Lord. So next time we have something to bring into your basket, to Lord, so how so many God for your glory in Jesus. And Father, we thank you. We bless your only Father. We plead the blood of just and the offering and the tithe. So many God for your glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. It is time for our announcement. I will call upon Evangelist Mary for the announcement. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor James, for this wonderful message. I thank God for this message. really bless my soul. I believe uh, the soul of all of us, you know. Uh, you know, the part that really touched me a lot that is making me to think and to ask God for more grace is the part that, you know, Pastor James said that, you know, the anxious of wait, waiting for somebody that has not given you time, that has not given you day, that has not given you year, and you have to keep on waiting, I mean, to prepare, knowing that you can receive this person at any time. No, he said another part, he said, what if this person, you will take like a 20 years? 20 years, will you be able to stand waiting? You understand? With this message of holiness and righteousness, will you be able to stand? Remember, God only look at the end. You will not look how you start, but where are you going to end up? As you say, it is appointed to a man to die. This message is very, very deep and important for us. We should not take it like, ah, we used to listen to it. Indeed, you need the Holy Spirit to go deep. You examine yourself and check how long do you have to live Enoch waited for 300 years. How long are we still to wait? Many people started with us, they're no longer standing. Are we keep, will you keep standing even if you die? Let it be that we died waiting and we died in the Lord. And when he come, he will say, the Bible says, even if you die, you shall rise again because you died of him. I remember one day a pastor told me that he's coming to pay me a visit with his wife. So they eventually gave me the day and the time that they are coming. They are coming to visit me. Trust me, my brethren, I did not sleep as a usual time I used to sleep. I was busy cleaning the house, preparing, because the first impression is the one that counts a lot. I believe all of us will do that when you know that you are going to receive important visitation. And you want to impress, you understand, by keeping your house clean. That's what I did. I don't know the time I went to sleep. I make sure even when my children went to sleep, I make sure because they told me they would come and run 11. I cleaned my house all night. I prepared the food that I know that it takes long so that I have time to enjoy their, their visit. In the next day in the morning, when the children finish eating their breakfast, I make sure I clean, clean again 
So he came to a time that was telling the children, please make sure don't mess it, don't put any mess eh? Somebody is coming to see the house, to visit me. I don't want the house to be dirty. As I was cleaning, it was almost few minutes. I was cleaning at the same time, looking at the clock to see how long it remained for them to come and to make sure that everything is in order. As I was cleaning, I heard a voice that was alone in my corridor. We need to fear God, my brethren, what we can do to man. If we can honor man, let us honor God first. So as I was cleaning, I was alone. I heard the voice very strongly. He's telling me, what you are doing, it is very good. But it will be more good if you are doing it in your heart. Hmm. It will be more good if you are doing it in your heart. That means the way you are cleaning your house to make sure this visit is going to see your house clean. Make sure you are also preparing your heart to be clean as you are waiting for the Lord. It's very deep. That's how I drop. I came back to my conscience. I said, God. So that means what I'm doing to a man, I should do it for my own salvation. I should wait, wait, make sure that there is no sin who reign in my heart. There is no sin who pollutes my heart as I'm waiting. This one is somebody that gives you the day and the time. What about Jesus that did not give you the day and the time? We should be careful. Waiting long time when you don't know when and how it's going to be is very dangerous. That means God is telling you to be sober, not to be distracted in anything. Pastor James, God bless you. This is the message that we have to study to ask ourselves that question. If the law is to take another 20 years for the rapture to come, will I still waiting for him as I'm waiting, as I started? With holiness and righteousness, the Bible says we should remember where, remember where we are falling. But anyway, I'm not here to preach. I'm just here to comment how deep this message is and how it really entered my bond. Our contribution, by God's grace, next week, we are starting our fasting on Wednesday. Three days fasting to dedicate this month in the presence of God. As we say, we are waiting. We have a long waiting. We have to wait patiently, not into destruction, but into prayer. Hallelujah. So join us in our prayer. It will be one session a day, which is 8 p.m. London time. And we have our Monday. Tomorrow is going to be our Bible study. May the Lord bless you as you join us. And also, the, the twice a month we have Bible study, twice a month we have just one month. Visual to my time where you have that freedom to contribute, to ask questions, whatever the Holy Spirit has led in your time, whatever thing that you think you have to ask, and the Holy Spirit will be available to answer you through any of us that will be there. And we have our session of prayer without ceasing. The Bible is commanding us to pray without ceasing because the time is evil. Like Pastor James said, that the sin is increasing, everything is increasing. Now we need to pray than before because it's the prayer that will make us to stand. It's the prayer that will make us to overcome. Hallelujah. That I kill 1 p.m. London time, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We also have our time of pray, midnight prayer, which is Monday, um, Tuesday, and Thursday. Prayer, midnight prayer. If the Bible says, why man sleep, the enemy come and do what he so evil seed. So tears. So is the time is the night that everything that is happening is in the night that the foolish virgin all of them slumber and slept, but only the wise that was able to wake up and they were prepared. So let us keep the fire burning. We should not sleep like others. Midnight prayer Tuesday and Thursday. May the Lord bless you. And we also have our night vigil. By next week, we are not going to have a general night vigil at 11 p.m. London time because of our fasting. But we normally have every Friday at 11 p.m. we have our night vigil because of time different. We put it at 11 p.m. for all of us to be able to stand in prayer. Sunday service like today, the first Sunday just like today, we do it as a holy communion to do it. The Bible says, remember, we need it to do it in remembrance of him. Remembrance of you to always remember the cross. When you remember the cross, you check your thing twice. It will make you to examine yourself, it will make you to be sober into prayer. Hallelujah. We also have our children department every Saturday, 6 p.m. London time. Bring your children along. Let them also hear, learn 
because they too they need to keep themselves blameless. The enemy is not afraid. Is not um, afraid of any age. You say that oh, they are too young to be polluted and they touch every area. So let us bring our children also to enjoy the glory that is waiting for them also in heaven. So this was our announcement. May the Lord bless you all. Over to you. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. So we are going to call upon our pastor for the benediction. May the Lord bless you, sir. Ah, the cross, ah, the cross, where I fall so the life, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you so much because of this night, O oh God, that Lord you have given us to also have a remembrance of your death on the cross and how you shed your blood, O oh God, in this holy communion service, O oh God. Lord, as we depart from this service, we pray that, O oh God, you are going to continue joining us together in the Holy Spirit and also in the spirit of fellowship, O oh God. As we continue to journey to heaven, it is a long journey, my Lord. It is a long wait. It is a long endurance, as we have seen in the Bible. But it is only by the horror of the Holy Spirit that, Lord, we can endure, O oh God, such an endurance of waiting and patiently waiting on you, O oh God, that when you return, O oh Lord, we will be called blessed because we patiently waited with this message of the close. We patiently waited with this message of the holy, of holiness and this message of virtuous women in Christ, O oh God. We patiently waited on this message, O oh God. Then we will be called blessed. It is only through the help of the Holy Spirit. It is through your grace, O oh God. It is through your cross, O oh Lord, the message of the cross, that that, that can be achieved, O oh Lord. Help us to wait. Help us to continue in vigilance, O oh Lord, especially in these last days. Father, we thank you for the service and we thank you for everything that has been done for in this service. Singing, prayer, testimony, and the word that, Lord, we have shared and the holy communion that we have partaken tonight. We give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 The grace. The May the grace of, 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 our Lord of Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, God, and the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now forever and ever. Amen. 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 Show the goodness and mercy of the Lord shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. shalom.